Hi guys, Dr. Sean here. Hope everyone's doing okay. Well, today I'm going to be talking about why it's harder for some patients more than others to get numb. So there's usually about eight different reasons why. Okay, so today we're going to be talking about that. So the first reason, um, which is very pretty interesting, is vitamin C. So vitamin C, too much vitamin C, especially before an appointment, can affect the pH uh, of your body, which can eventually affect the possibility of getting numb. So I usually tell patients to try to avoid taking any vitamin C or even large glasses of orange juice before their appointment. But also on the flip side is that uh, if you're trying to allow the numbness effect to go away, you can also take vitamin C or drink orange juice. Another reason is what we call a hot tooth. When a patient comes in with a pretty particularly painful tooth and it won't get numb, um, this is what we refer to as a hot tooth, which makes basically the nerves overactive, so you, you need more and more anesthetic in order to get that tooth numb. If a patient's moving at all, then the dentist can have a possibility of missing the nerve and the patient won't get numb. So I always tell patients to make sure you try to stay as still as possible. Another common reason is just the dentist missed. It happens, it's a very slight chance of error, but uh, sometimes we miss and we just have to keep on trying until we get it. And another reason why we miss, which is brings me to another reason, is the anatomy of the mouth. Every patient's mouth is different. Teeth, bones, everything. So where we think one nerve is located on somebody, it can be completely different for someone else. So we have to make sure that Sometimes that can take trying twice, even three times, to really get that patient numb. A very common reason also is that the patient has an infection. Infection can really change, also change the pH of your mouth, just like vitamin C. Um, it makes the mouth more acidic. So local anesthetics um, won't properly work. They really need an environment of a more neutral pH. This is why sometimes dentists um, will prescribe antibiotics before root canals or other procedures when an infection is present. Um, to help drop that pH. Um, also what we can do is, is do a nerve block. So instead of just infiltrating the area, we just do a whole nerve block and that'll give a better possibility of that tooth getting numb. Now another reason is just your body in general. Everybody processes anesthetic differently. For example, redheads usually require a little bit more anesthetic than non-redheads. So they're just, everybody's different. Bodies are different, so you kind of have to just fill it out and see how a patient gets numb. And last but not least, which I would probably say is one of the most common, if a patient has high anxiety. When you have high anxiety, you're moving around, you're anxious, it's just, you're not really even knowing if you're getting numb or not properly. Because like the slightest touch, you feel like you're in pain. So we, in those instances, we usually try to recommend patients try to have some sort of sedation before the appointment, whether it be conscious sedation, um, deep sedation, um, or even just something as simple as nitrous. There you go, guys. That's some reasons why some patients need more anesthetic than others. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. Bye.